Okay, let's go ahead and solve this system of equations by graphing. It's in slope. Both of these are in slope-intercept form. And remember, this is the slope. This is the y-intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph both of these lines, and where they intercept will be our solution. So let's get started. Okay, if you'd like, you can write this 3 over 1. We begin, always begin with b, and that's a negative 4. So I'm going to start at b, which is negative 4. Okay? Then what I'm going to do, since it's positive, and you always read from left to right, I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, and there's my point right there. Then from this point, I'm going to repeat 1, 2, 3 over 1. And then let's do one more for good measure, 1, 2, 3 over 1. Then I'm going to very carefully draw a line, hopefully, and um, then we'll graph the other line. So here is our line. Okay, for the most part, I think I got it there. And now this one is completely different. We have a negative slope and a fraction, and then here's the y-intercept. So here's how we're going to work the fraction and the negative slope. Remember, again, you go from left to right. We're going to begin at positive 3. But this time, instead of going up, we're going to go down 1 and 2 to the right. So we're going to go down 1, 1, 2. Well, we have our solution, but I'll graph this again. Go down 1, over 2, 1, 2. And we're running out of graph because it's kind of small graph paper. But let's go ahead and draw a line. And we'll get an idea of where they intercept. Make sure I've got that lined up pretty. And you can see that... Um, these two equations intercept at 2 because you go up, y is 2, x is 2. So there's our solution for this system of equations by graphing. Okay, let's take a look at this one. And one of the first things I notice is that they have the same slope. So let's graph them and uh, kind of see what happens, okay? So remember, you always begin at B. So we're going to begin at plus 2. And this one, it has a negative slope. Remember, if you'd like, you can put it over 1. So we're going to go down 2 and to the right 1. So here we go. We got 1, 2, right 1, 1, 2, the right 1. Okay? And then I can draw a line from these three points. Let me do this quickly. Okay. And now let's do the same thing again. This time, however, we're starting at a negative 2. So we're going to go down to negative 2. We're not going to have a lot of room, so let's go down 2. Remember, you can put this over 1. Down 2 and to the right 1. 1, 2, to the right 1. Okay. That will give me at least enough to draw a line. Obviously, if my graph paper was bigger, I could do more lines. I can do the opposite and go up two and to the left. One, two, and to the left one. So now let's draw our line and we're going to see something. If you will notice, they do not cross. In fact, they're two parallel lines. So this would be no solution to this system of equations.